So hello people, it's Mons and you're back here in your M07 Productions and we are back here with you with Song of Aria. That is right, yeah? Songs of Aria. Okay, sorry. And last time I asked you how much would you pay for what she's gonna give you that eternal life still if you know. So mm, no no um playing trickery here. Yeah, totally, definitely not. But let's hop back into it. That's a fail. She stands there for a minute, looking like she's thinking really hard about it, but I can tell she's just pretending. She's already decided my fate. Hee <laughs> hee, I got just the thing. You're a vampire, what do you think? What is it? You have to be my personal servant for the rest of your life. That's my price. But that'll be forever. Naturally. Either sub succumb to my mortality, or or live forever as a servant of this girl. Both a uh, a uh, mm, uh, is that options? I don't think is that even is options spelled right there. It don't look right to me. I'm probably having a giant dyslexic moment or aphasia moments, and I'm no longer comprehending. Well, no, I can still read the word ain't aren't and really so I know it's not aphasia I can still read some that just don't look right I'm probably having this look clean oh what aren't aren't really that great wait a second she said for the rest of my life what it did but if she died then who would I serve if I'm immortal then the then the few decades or so until she croaks would be nothing compared to the rest of eternity. I might just pay, it might just pay off in the end. Considering the, also the fact that you're gonna lose everyone that you love, yes, that my, my agreement would have to be they have to live too, so. Or at least Cassie. I need to shave. So then, it actually itches. Don't know why it started to itch a few days ago. So I think it started to itch today. I've been scratching it like this, like a dog all day. Okay. Or it would have, or it would have. But she's a vampire. Aren't they immortal too? No, damn it. No, there's no it. It's just them. There goes that pain plan. Sorry, I am having dyslexia right now. Okay, nice to know. But death is a per is a permanent and scary thing. It might just be worth worth it if I don't have to face my own end. More importantly, like she said, I'm a heretic, and I have nowhere to go. If I leave without this deal, I get caught. They'll sentence me to death. I don't understand why would they do this, and who w who would kill him for having a mark on his chest a tattoo? So I can understand not wanting to have a tattoo, but who would kill him for having it? Like, who is it? It doesn't even say. Or if it did, I completely missed it. It went right, in, right over my head. Like a lot of things, but still. Is it that difficult a decision? You're you're the only one who want immortality. Just pick already. Er, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm I'm just gonna say yes if you go buy someone else for me too. Same time. Just don't bite her too hard. It does things. I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Well. <laughs> I've I may I may not enjoy living up up to up to my end of the deal, but I. But I did come here for a reason, and I'm going to follow through. Besides, how bad can it be, honestly? Alright, it's a deal. <laughs> wow, it looks like you're serious about this. I think... Mm, I didn't think you'd say yes. You backing out? And miss out on free on a free servant? I think not. Don't worry, J Jason. You're, you're in good hands. That's... Ooh, that's a new picture. I love this music too. She steps even closer. Now I can feel her breath on me. It feels both hot and cool at the same time. She places her left index finger in her mouth and bites down on it hard. She tears at the skin with one with one swift motion, but it, it looks like she doesn't feel it at all. She removes her finger from her mouth and holds it in the air. Blood flows freely down the finger. 
She presses it against my lips, which instantly gets hot. Drink it. After a few seconds of his hesitation, I open my mouth and in in invitive and in, in uh, invite in, invite her finger in with my tongue. The taste of copper assaults my mouth. And so it's incredibly hot. I want more. The taste is intoxicating. Blood flows freely from her cut. But it's not enough. I need more. Wait, it's not enough. I need more. Suck on her suck on her finger. Try to draw out every last drop. Now my leg hurts. Why does my leg hurt? Last time it was my arm, I think. But now this time it's my leg. And also, I think this picture should have like, had... Like, it should have had her going like this. Like this. She's probably right-handed, so like this. With blood going down. It's, it's just my view as an artist myself. Or minor, very minor artist. Okay. Every last drop. It's a fiery... Ugh. Ah, fiery one, eh? Well then. She leans her head in towards my neck. The feeling of warmth of her breath is instantly cut down by the touch of her cold glass tongue as it dances around my skin. It swirls around in playful circles, leaving traces of cold wherever it cold wherever it goes. <laughs> she lets out a quiet little laugh and then Was that picture there last time? I wanna say it was, but I can't quite say. That's what that is what that is. That's what that sounds like, people. I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> it probably is. That's what I'd be doing. I'm like, oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Why? Why are you biting me? That's what I'd be doing. A, a startling slight pain. My, my small cry is muffled by the finger in and the blood in my mouth. I feel my own blood on mm, my own my my own blood, my own heat leak from the holes in my neck she made with her teeth. Why okay, I like all of a sudden they can't read anymore. She laps it up just as passionately as as I do hers. God, this is no oh, I it's so hard not, not to just like burst out and and laughter and just and other comments for this. The conflicting senses of heat and ice send a bolt of lightning up and down my spine. She withdraws her tongue and finger. The way she moves so in integrally makes the heat of an itch run over every bit of my skin. A short glance of eyes short like yeah, a short glance my eyes shoot to her finger with mm, oh my God. which now seems to have re regained its pearl its pale pearl color as though never stained by the fire red blood the, that flowed from it earlier. But, but my, but my view is quickly blocked. She puts her face closer and closer to, to her own. What? She puts her, she puts my face closer and closer to her own. Our lips meet for a second before she thrusts her tongue into my mouth. The blood, where, blood we were drinking mixes together creating a sweet sensation. Okay, this I don't remember this last time. Our tongues twist and turn. String, 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 string the blood on, on our mouths. I can hardly feel hers. The heat of the blood overwhelms my, my sense of touch. She inches away, the blood pulling in in my mouth frantically whirlpools around around my tongue as which is as I which her tongue as I which her what? Suddenly a pain assails me. 
I remember the flashing red light. I tried to play it flash last time, I think it just turned red. The blood is boiling, not from passion, but literally heat that wrecks my entire body, burning every inch. It's so intense, I feel like my skin will melt off. I lose my breath with such dynamic, with such dramatic speed, it feels like some invisible force slammed into my chest. The blood pulled in my mouth spills out violently as I was coughing up the insides inside of rotting of rotted lungs. I'm confused about that. My heart pounds so loudly I could hear it. My pulse begins to drum in my head, making making it ache. I grab my chest, I lose I lose balance and fall to my knees hard. My Mm. My head almost falls to the floor too, but my free hand stops me. My head hangs low while my back arcs high, arched over, looking at, at a sick turtle. Looking like a sick turtle, okay. My hand leaves my chest to help support my weight. My forehead pr presses against the ground. My neck far too weak to lift my head. I would just lay down at this point. <laughs> I would. The cool floor does nothing to elevate the, the heat. I have no idea what the word is, but okay. I can't even see Melissa's feet. All that's before me are the towels on the ground. I, I try to gasp for air, but nothing enters my lungs. They feel crushed and in enormous pressure hammers at my ribcage, threatening to collapse it. How long have I been going? For minutes. An incredible, a incredible pull grabs me, um, grabs at everything from the center of my body. It feels like, it, it feels like, it feels like I am imploding. Why does it repeat? It feels like my arm lose their riggedy, rig Rejected, rejected. I don't know. And give out. My body slams against the floor. I'd probably drink like a. a I'd probably look like a dead body when I get drink. <sighs> if it if it weren't for the profuse sweating, even my eyelids lose their strength and fall like. Is that even recording? You know, my eyelids fall like heavy curtains over my eyes. My entire world fades to black. The last remaining bits of consciousness are snatched away hungrily by the shadows. Horn, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Go ahead and make the new drinking game. For every time I have a reading mess up, you have to drink. Take just a giant swig of whatever you're drinking, okay, Corn? There you go. Now you have a more efficient drinking game. Get me to read more. <laughs> I hate this so much. Or I don't hate this. I hate reading so much, but I want to know the rest of the story. And just mainly, I hate reading loud. Lies pierce through. Lies pierces my shut eyes, turning my world from black to red. Its brightness is quite painful. Hey, get up already. I don't think I, I don't think I can move. You can't ask me for that. Sarah boy, I told you to get up. Sarah boy. It, it, sorry. I guess I don't know why. <sighs> Sarah boy, I think I don't think so. The deal is all. Surely right now I'm either dying or already dead. Hurry up and get up already. I'm not in the mood to play around here. Sir, but no voice has the power to bring me back dead, to bring back the dead, and I'm pretty sure it was you that killed me, so there's no way in hell I'd come back for you. Last warning, get up. Shut up already. Haven't you heard the rest of this? Haven't you heard or heard rest in peace? It only applies to the dead. Can't you tell that I'm dead, or are you just blind? Can't you tell that I... 
Did it just... It didn't register in my space. Hum, now that you mention it, you surely are dead. Told you, now leave me alone and let me and let me rest. Alright, farewell, Jason. Yeah, yeah, now get out of here. There's, there's no reply. Finally, she's gone. Now to enjoy the rest of my afterlife. Yeah! Yeah! Now a swift and amazing strong kick. <laughs> I forgot about this part. A kick revealing that of martial arts, martial arts legends. A victim would definitely be feeling the hurts if he wasn't already dead. Ah. I, where is this from? It sounds so familiar, but I don't know what it's from. It sounds Mario to me. I have no idea. Good news, it seems that you really weren't dead. Does it say you saying that? Bad news, I think that kick just killed me. <laughs> Severe internal bleeding or something like that. Well, actually, be, well, I'll actually be able to rest in peace now. Bad news. Oh, what's that? I could, I could have sworn I just heard you ask for another kick. <laughs> what the must the, the, the are we? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Is it like not finished or something? Because there's like no subtitles of where anything is and um, like who's saying what. Anyway. That's what I'd like to say. But having uh, the wind knocked out of me, I can't even manage to whisper. I sit up in a hurry and open my eyes. Finally, picture that's not red. I just realize how blue this is. I'm sure the blue is all from this. It's not, it's actually just blue. That's interesting. Can I focus it? It all focuses on nothing. That's interesting, it's like it can't even see me. I guess it is blue light, they're not meant to really see blue lights. Don't know why, I'm just nothing seems blue light in this shit. Especially with it as gritty as this. How dare, how dare my servant keep me waiting this long? Well, at least I know how to wake you up. All I can manage to... Wait, this is a different bed too. In a different room, I've realized this where it looks. I think it is. I, it's been like almost three years of like half years of this. Why is... My screen's not red. My screen's not blue anymore. Whatever. I managed to... Is waving my hand around crazy. Air hasn't returned to my life yet. Oh, those boots of hers still pointed. Hurry and prepare my breakfast, circuit boy. A small whiff snake. What? A small whiff sneaks, sneaks in, and I manage to whisper, "Breakfast." It's kind of late, but I haven't eaten since I woke. Since I woke. But actually, I need breakfast. She looks towards the window and she says this. The curtains are down back back, and the sun is high. Rays of light bounce um, brightly around the room. What time is it? After when almost noon. Noon? It is tomorrow already? You've been out for about 20 hours. Actually, it'd be tomorrow. How am I supposed to know I've been out 20 hours? Yeah. It does its, I don't think it, it doesn't go past this part. And uh, the last one I did, so it's the end is there, so. Doesn't this time, yay! I take a look around the room. I lie on ooh, on a nice bed in, in, in an enormous bedroom. It certainly isn't the servant's quarters. In fact, it looks like it could be the master bedroom. If it had more furniture now that's now if that's true wh when where what then where'd she sleep not on the couch well um well what breakfast yes please you're the one who's making this you're the one who has to make it what for you're the servant aren't you since when that was the condition of our deal wasn't it 
Then I'm immortal now? Great. I'm... <laughs> so I really am immortal. Yes, now, will you hurry up and make my food? Wow, I'm... Wow, it... So cool. Wow, it really happened. My wish had been granted eternal life. How awesome is that? Also, the stories are true. A beautiful ref reformist hating vampire who grants wishes who... Who would have thought? Er, wait a second. A beautiful reformist and reformist hating vampire who grants wishes. I quickly remember that last thing I saw before everything went black. My head, my hand, by its own will, sh shuffles up my neck and doesn't feel like there's a, a, a scab or any other mark. But how I remember I was bitten here. Eternal life, vampire mark, vampire, vampire bite marks, blood. The, the match is simple. I'm a vampire now. Gee, Jason, I should have known better than to ask a vampire for a more talent. Uh, what other way about about it is other way about it was there? Of course, she turned into a woman too. Well, I guess I better get acquainted with. This new lifestyle, drinking blood, avoiding sunlight. Maybe it can turn. Maybe I can turn into a bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet I get s superhuman strength and speed, and maybe some awesome abilities too. Ability to make may marvelous. I don't know what the first word is. Phantasm. Ah, avoiding sunlight. Ah, uh, the yeah. Ah, uh, the are wide open in the middle of the day. I'm gonna die. I quickly pull the cover covers over my head and hide, huddling into a ball. Uh, what the heck are you doing? I'm a vampire now, so I have to avoid sunlight. Vampire. That's right, aren't you a vampire? Ah, they're still calling me that. They're, they need some new material. I take my head out from under the covers. Why did you flash again? Flashing. Oh, they're going to wait two minutes. I'm going to cover The rays of light help my face, but I don't feel anything but one. And Melissa is just standing there, looking amused. Hee hee hee. You really thought I was a vampire. Well, that's, that's what everyone else says. Listen, well, Jason. There are no such things as vampires. It's a lie from the church in order to turn me into some kind of evil monster. Although, I guess I was playing into the role when I bit your neck yesterday. <laughs> yeah, see? You can't blame me for thinking that. Alright, alright, I could let you get away with that much. Yeah. And never go outside. Also, there wasn't a single beam of sunlight in, in this house when I arrived yesterday. Hey, so why are the curtains drawn today? I did it for you. You're... You're outside more than I, so I figured you'd be more comfortable in natural light, aren't uh, aren't I thoughtful? No. Uh yeah, sure. Why not? Sorry for my eyes. I'm gonna need glasses one now. I know I will for a fact. Simply because this is gonna be, I'm gonna blame this game more of anything. I can't play this game more because I used to play games all the time with Darby and I just couldn't do it anymore. I started in my last one. And I would be far away from TV whenever I did it. So, it didn't hurt my eyes that much. Then, it built up. This is, of course. Especially with the UV rays coming off the screen, it really hurts. I can't see it. Okay. So now, that all the misconceptions have been cleared up, it's time for breakfast. Great, I'm starved. Yay, it goes pet kids. No more breakfast. But until then, we've reached about almost 25 minutes, actually 24 and a little over a half, but almost 25, close enough. Until then, it's probably done some saying, come back. See what's for breakfast. I don't know what's for breakfast. I don't want to know what's for breakfast. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to continue. I really don't know, but... If I, if I could actually find a way to save this, I might actually do this in multiple sections. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to suffer through the pain of this one long session. 
all new. And I have no idea how long this video is. I hope it ain't too long. <laughs> That's what this bell does, I'm saying. It's finding out. <laughs>